I mean, if I sat here and told you what to do, and you had to do it my way, or you were wrong, what would you think? Well, I would probably think I just didn't want to try anymore. And would it seem like I was there to help you, or to just... No, just to, to be the enforcer. Mm -hmm. Now, if you think about some of your students, don't think of you like your worst student. Okay. Because that's down the road. Okay. But think of some of those middle ones. You know those middle ones that can kind of slide towards the better behaving kids or the less mm -hmm. behaving kids? Depending on what day it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you think that if you treated them with respect and self-evaluation, if a few of those would come around? Mm -hmm. Probably. I mean, you know, I think... I think because they're on the fence, right. I think that um, if they really felt that I was somebody who maybe respected them in some way, I think, I think they would come on to right. the other side of the fence. And, and asking the questions and moving on doesn't mean that you have to be soft about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you, that is my concern. Right. I don't want to be, right. be the softy and then get run over. Absolutely, because they'll, they'll smell blood. They will, yeah. and they'll take advantage. They're going to find my my weak spots, and they're going to absolutely they're going to pick those. Right. Things. At the same time, they also don't respond well to the supreme authority. No, that, yeah. So the questions, hopefully, and maybe uh, you'll answer this in a minute, but hopefully, somewhere in this middle ground, you can maintain your firmness, but your ni niceness too. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I said to you. You know, Vivian, the way you're behaving, you even have a choice right now of sitting in this chair and following along, or you can go sit at the table over there. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have any doubt that I'm serious? No, I think you're quite serious. Okay, and yet did I say it nicely? Yeah, it was sure nice enough. Okay, so we it, it's a fine line, I know, between that being a threat or that's just kind of what's going to have to happen because of the, what the whole class is. But, but I'm going to put it back in your hands now. Do we need to talk for a few more minutes now about very specific questions, or do you want to go back and think about it and maybe in a day or two take another 10 or 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. Well, I think I'll ask better specific questions if I can go back and maybe okay. think about it a little bit and maybe try it a bit in my class. Okay. And, and if you find some places where it seems to work and not work, maybe we can troubleshoot then. Because no matter how good you get with the questions, they'll learn them and they'll they'll get ways around them. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to keep <laughs> you get past one line of defense and then the other and right. then the other, and you've got plenty to worry about right now. I don't mean worry, worry, but I mean as a first year teacher, you've got your hands full. Mm -hmm. I certainly do. But I tell you, it's very nice to see you after nine weeks still ready to smile and and not afraid to say that there's some things I need help with. Mm -hmm. And I hope we can always have that kind of relationship. Right, me too. And that really means a lot to me that you'd be helpful and supportive and not telling me to get my class together. Well, there's a, there's a quote, and I'm, I don't know a whole lot about Henry Ford, and I'm not a huge Henry Ford fan, but I love this quote, and he says, don't find fault, find remedy. And it's easy to point fingers at, at things and say, well, you should be doing this, you should be doing that, but that's anybody can criticize somebody. The hard part is how do we help people continue to grow? Mm -hmm. And I have mentors too that I you know, keep asking questions of or, or whatever. So none of us ever knows at all. Right. And that's great because, like I said, with the 98, I'm a perfectionist and I've been criticizing myself enough over this. Okay. And may I then, that may I en then end with this? As a first year teacher, is being a perfectionist helping you? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so maybe there's a little bit that you could, you know, kind of give yourself a break every once in a while.